This is the uh, Kratos Axis Supra Plus XPS instrument. So this has been at the University of Queensland since August 2021. As the operator, this is where we, we do the analysis. This is the uh, flexi lock where we load the samples. So the samples bars go into the flexi lock and then they are evacuated typically overnight or for a few hours. And then once they reach the required pressure, they will go into the sample analysis chamber, which is the main chamber of the instrument. So that's all within this casing here. So the X-ray source is at the back. We also have a monochromator at the back. And then um, the X-rays hit the sample. The electrons that are generated pass through a hemispherical analyzer and hit the detector. And this is all at the top and at the, the back of the instrument. So this part here on the side is the GCIS. That's the gas cluster ion source. And that's what we can use for cleaning samples and for doing depth profiles. So this is a surface science station. Uh, it's an add-on to this particular type of XPS. And it's essentially, it's a lab within a lab. So it provides a nice, clean, sterile environment for us to do any manipulations without having to remove the samples from the chamber. So we can do some analysis in the main chamber and we can then add the samples to the surface science station. And when they're in there, we can uh, dope them with different gases or we can heat them or cool them. And then once we've done those changes, we can put them back into the main chamber for analysis. It looks quite complicated. It has a few uh, particular features. So these buckets here, these are for cooling samples with liquid nitrogen. So we add the liquid nitrogen to the buckets to, to cool the samples down. And these pipes here at the top, the gas doses. So we have three uh, separate pipes. So we can have three different gases at the same time. Something like hydrogen, we could hydrogenate a sample by adding a very low pressure and a very steady stream of hydrogen, and it goes through the nozzle and hits the target. There are certain gases that we can't use which we might damage the equipment, but that's something you can talk to me about on a case-by-case -case basis. Now we've taken the sides off, we can see the components in more detail. We'll look at the GCIS. It has a turbo pump at the top, and you can see these pipes here. That's just to cool the turbo pump down because it just gets very hot. So the GCIS, it's a very long piece of equipment. It has a very fine nozzle at the bottom, and that is where the sample is placed. Here is the flexi lock. It's quite a large chamber. It's big enough to accommodate three different sample holders. And with that, we have a camera at the top, and the camera can uh, take a photo of the sample bar. And with that, we can then assign the positions for the analysis. When the sample bar is ready, it goes into the main chamber for the analysis. So the sample analysis chamber is the part at the back with all the different ports. You can see it's got a few viewports which we can use just to visualize the, the sample. Um, we've also got a microscope in there which we can use to uh, fine tune the positions. And of course, we've got the X-ray source, we've got the GCS source, and we've got the, uh, the electron detector right at the back. 